first five episodes of Shogun have been great. It's a show about a Dutch pirate crew landing in feudal Japan, and they're there to destroy some, like, Portuguese missions, because the Dutch and the Portuguese are at war, Portuguese set up some missions and bases there. But when they arrive, they're malnourished, and they have scurvy and everything, so they're captured instantly by the Japanese. The British pilot of the ship, John Blackthorne, ends up being swept up in this whirlwind of politics and impeding war after the Taiko, essentially the Emperor, died and the five lords of a council that was set up by the Taiko are all fighting for power and trying to become a shogun. It is a very clever but brutal show. It's kind of like the last samurai meets black sails and a little bit of Game of Thrones. All of the book it was based on was published before all of those, so... Anyway, Shogun shows both the aspects of Japan that people kind of romanticize about the feudal period, but also the darker side of Japan back then. The one that can exploit some of those aspects of their system and culture. You get to see samurai being samurai, but you also get to see how they're kind of played against each other and how their loyalty and honor can lead to following some orders that maybe they don't necessarily agree with, and even some unnecessary loss of life. I love how they show both the Japanese and John thinking their respective cultures are very strange and obviously wrong or barbaric. There are both good comedic, tragic, and dramatic moments that use this kind of fish-out-of-water dynamic. I personally don't know that much about Japanese history or what it was like back then, so I don't know how historically accurate this show is, but it looks great. And it doesn't feel over the top or, you know, out of the realm of possibility to what it would have been like back then. The characters are very well acted, and there's a good amount of complexity to the show. But it's presented in such a way that you can follow it pretty easily. So when big moves, double crosses, characterizations, anything like that happen and plenty of it does happen, you have a good understanding of what, you know, just occurred and how serious it has on the impact of everything. And you get that without having the character explain every little thing that just occurred, like the audience couldn't possibly keep up. Even if you can't say or understand some of the Japanese names or words that well, you can still follow about what's being talked about, who they're being talk, who is talking, or who they're talking about, and what they want. But you do have to actually watch this show. It's not some good background noise or something to have while your phone, while you're looking at your phone. This one you have to get into or you're going to miss some things. And not just because it's subtitles. You can miss a lot of good information, moments, looks from people if you aren't paying that close of attention. Now there is a dubbed version of the show and... If it was an anime, I definitely would have opted to do that. But with no, like, mouth syncing for the live action and the dubbed audio, and just the way the story is playing out, watching it subbed actually makes the experience better. It feels more authentic to the story. So far, it's a story that's been great. And I know there are multiple tellings of the story, just from the book it's based on to an older television show and I believe even a movie. But I still don't want to spoil anything. But if it starts to go downhill in the next five episodes, then that might change when I do a full season review. And there is definitely a chance that it could go downhill. There is still a lot of story left to tell and there are certain characters that either just got introduced or have yet to really play their hand. It could go any direction at this point, really. And even though I have loved a lot the recent things coming out, like The Gentleman or Dune Part 2, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Now, there are a few nitpicks, as always, like some of the fighting in the third episode, especially between the interpreter, whose name I can't pronounce, grabbing a weapon and using it embarrassingly bad, but still defeating, like, trained warriors. It was not established you could fight, and it was kind of stupid. There isn't- there also isn't a great sense of urgency for some things that felt very important, like 
trying to find a spy that's introduced or John being really all that concerned about his crew, you know, until the story kind of makes him need to remember his crew and then go, oh yeah, where are they? What happened to them? Also, the passage of time isn't that well established. It feels like everything is just a few hours away from each other or something. You have no idea if they've been traveling for months to bond with each other, a couple hours, couple days, hair, clothes, nothing change. So you don't get a full good idea of how big everything is and how long it could have possibly been there bonding off screen. There are a lot of little things like that, but it really doesn't matter that much because the character work is great. And then there's all the different schemes going on and you just want to keep watching and you, you want to know what happens. And that's the important thing is you're interested. You can ha be having fun. You can also have moments where it's like, holy shit. And it's just, it's good. It sucks you in. So overall, I guess the title of this video pretty much tells everything that I want to say. The first half of Shogun, so far so good. I hope they keep it up. I hope we can have another good show. And even though I didn't say much, I hope you like this video. And let me know what you think. If you've seen the first five episodes and you want to go ahead and spoil away in the comments and we can talk about it there or something. You know, what do you think is going to go on? Do you think it's going to go downhill? I suspect Hulu might be do owned by Disney might do some stuff. I really hope I'm wrong. I haven't read the book, so I don't know how accurate it is. But we'll see. And I'll let you know when the show is over. What I thought and maybe some of the spoilers. So like subscribe if you want, I guess. Hi.